Wow. A very, very big congrats on the boys season four. Pretty much the whole series. It's consistently exciting, smart, heart wrenching, all the super hero drama in the world. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. I know. Yeah. No, we're at the it is all of that wrapped in yeah. the one show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, let's let's begin with you, Miss Erin. Fantastic as Starlight. Before we talk about season four, quickly tell us from the very beginning, what got you interested in joining the cast? Oh, I mean, okay, so I was in the script when the script was just itself. In other words, there weren't other actors attached to it yet. So I looked at it as like from a material perspective. And the script was, and I at that point had read many pilot scripts. It was the best pilot I'd ever read, truly. And um, I read the character Starlight and I read her description and I was like, oh my God, Starlight, a superhero, like it just feels a bit on the nose. And much to my satisfaction, it turned out it was a satire. And like six weeks later, I reached out to my reps and I was like, you guys, I know it was a cattle call, but on the off chance, did we even get feedback for this for this audition? Because like, I just love it so much and I just want to know even if it's negative and they're like oh yeah they want to test you in tomorrow and I was like what <laughs> so it happened so quickly but it was truly one of the like one of those surreal moments that just never yeah, happened when you're like wow wow um but the character resonated with me every part of it resonated with me so that was one of the just testing for it alone would have been really cool let alone being cool. here Oh, and Miss Claudia, fantastic as Victoria Newman as well. Tell our viewers how your character arc evolved this season. It's very interesting. <laughs> it is. I, I think Victoria Newman <laughs> has uh, typically been presented as someone who compartmentalizes a lot of her feelings, and she is very strategic in her pr approach. And she's kind of thrust into this situation this season where she can't really plan or hide in the shadows or, or you know, kind of assess things from the outside. She's very much thrown into mm -hmm. the midst of things. Yeah. Um, and that is not a comfortable space for her to be in. Uh, and she seems to come, like, right up against it. She she She's a very morally grey character to begin with, and yeah. it feels as though this season she is finally realising where that line is for her. And yeah. it feels as though there's, like, a voice in her head almost pleading with her like just like turn around just just we can yeah. get we can get out of here now if you if you <laughs> we want to and it's just this it's, mm. i don't know it's it's so she's kind of edging further into the darkness but but also pulling back as well and it's it's so interesting to play that I I totally agree. You know, Miss Karen, you know what? I The female, I love, love, love your character as well. And without revealing too much, there's a sort of like a happy ending, sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah. You've revealed yeah, it by you? just saying that. We all know. <laughs> Tell us, give, you, give us a uh, same thing, character arc. How does it evolve the season? Yeah, uh, Kimiko goes through it this season. She, uh, you know, similarly to a lot of the characters, but uh, for the first time ever, we see Kimiko going through it on her own and Frenchie also on his own. And uh, the two are not as uh, together as often as previous seasons. And, um, you know, she has to face her demons. She has to face guilt and shame and come to terms with the fact that she's also been at fault in the mm -hmm. past. And... Um, I think the biggest theme for her this season is like, how do you move forward? How do you move past mm. that? And um, is there nothing like, can can you redeem yourself? Yeah. Can you forgive yourself? Um, and that is the theme of the season. And we'll see where that takes us. Tune in for more. <laughs> it's true. I think, I think that theme is really for all the characters involved. How can yeah, you yeah. redeem yourself? I love it. But I'm so sad, you guys. I'm running out of time. But a big, big, big congrats on The Boys Season 4 again. Can't wait for Season 5. Thank you, <laughs> Thank so, you so much. much. Cheers. Bye, guys. Bye.